Yo, welcome back to another episode of the Suez. Um, no NBA Finals tonight, so we're dropping some MLB videos. Already dropped one. This is the second one. We're going White Sox Dodgers here. Let's dive in. Welcome to the Suez. The Suez. Hey, get the Suez. All right, LA on the road here in Chicago. The line opened up with the White Sox a slight dog. Chicago plus 108, which is closer than I thought it would be. Uh, early action on the Dodgers as expected. 71% of the money on LA as of midnight last night. Yo, check it out. So the money stays on LA overnight and through most of the morning. But check out what happens later in the morning. We got a 16% money shift towards the White Sox. Books react to it. They drop the line a few points. Nothing crazy, but it drops from Chicago plus 108. We're now down to plus 105. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers to the spreadsheet. So let's plug in our pitchers. We have the LA Dodgers on the road, Mitch White pitching for them, Chicago White Sox at home, Michael Kopech. Kopech? Kopech? I think it's Kopech. Um, and here we go. First five, a very slight lean on the Dodgers. We can look at this full game line right here. Our analytics are telling us that it should be a heavy lean on the Dodgers. So we got a righty-righty matchup as far as starting pitching. And normally I start with breaking down the pitchers, but I'm going to start with the bats here because you've got to see these numbers. Check this out. So let's look at the last three weeks, the Dodgers versus White Sox, how these lineups have been hitting right-handed pitching. The Dodgers are fifth in the MLB, the Chicago White Sox 27th. I swear to God, part of me wants to stop the video right here. We're getting the Dodgers at minus 124. That's a pretty good price for the Dodgers. Coming off a day off and back-to-back -back losses against a team who can't hit righties, throwing a righty? Yeah. How about we stop the video and just take the Dodgers? Real quick, we'll touch on the pitching and then make the pick. Uh, starting pitching, the edge does go to the White Sox, though. Kopech's been really good, more established. Mitch White hasn't been terrible for the Dodgers, but he's really inexperienced as a starting pitcher. Uh, but his numbers are respectable, pretty average. Starting pitching edge definitely goes to Chicago. As far as bullpens go, the edge goes to LA. Dodgers bullpen been pretty mediocre. Uh, in the last three weeks, on base percentage and slugging percentage, the Dodgers are 18th and 15th in the MLB, so right in the middle. The White Sox 27th and 16th in those categories. Bullpen edge goes to LA. So starting pitching, edge goes to the White Sox. Bats, huge edge goes to the Dodgers. And bullpen edge goes to the Dodgers. Obviously, I like the Dodgers here. So what am I betting? Honestly, just one bet here. I really just don't see the Los Angeles Dodgers, possibly the best team in baseball, losing three straight games. Coming off a day off, no way. Give me the Dodgers money line at minus 124. Final ticket posted on KyleKerms.com and the Sauce Network app. We've been hot with baseball, but all the picks for all sports will be up there from the whole five-person team we have here at the Sauce Network. Make sure you check it out, download the app or the website. Also, if there's any crazy last-minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely keep you posted on Twitter, Instagram Story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bets. All right, it's Tuesday. No NBA Finals, but we got NHL tonight. We got a fully loaded ML. B slate. Let's rake in some units. I'll talk to you on Twitter.